Pope Francis expresses shame and dismay over child abuse in Bolivia. Pope Francis has sent a letter to the President of Bolivia in which he expresses feelings of shame and dismay and a firm promise to work with the government of the South American country to put an end to sexual abuse of minors committed by the clergy. The letter, signed on May 31 and addressed to the President of Bolivia, Luis Arce, is a response to another letter sent to the pontiff on May 22 by the South American leader. The Pope's letter was made public on May 15 through the official Twitter account of the Bolivian President. Dear Mr. President, I have read your letter and I thank you for the clarity and deference with which you share with me the concern, indignation and repudiation, yours and of the citizens of that beloved nation, because of the deplorable facts that have affected and continue to affect people sexually abused by members of the Church, the Pope indicates at the beginning of his message. Then, he expresses all his pain, faced with the tangle of evil caused by those who, betraying their mission as parents, pastors and educators, and as you express, committed crimes that damage children for life, and also damage the church, I express to you my pain and my feelings of shame and dismay. In April 2023, a scandal rocked the church in Bolivia when a report in the newspaper El Pace pointed to the late Jesuit Alfonso Pedrages Moreno as the author of several abuses against minors during his ministry. This revelation led to the exposure of several cases of abuse in the Society of Jesus and other religious congregations. At another point in the letter, the Pope reveals feeling moved and impressed at the thought of the nefarious actions of these priests and also the negligence of those who should have been vigilant. In this sense, he recalls that the ministers of the Church must be custodians and guarantors of the good and the future of the young generations, and stand out for propagating the attitudes and sentiments that have characterized the presence of Jesus among men. This problem remains one of the greatest challenges for the Church in our time, the Pope argued. The Holy Father also expresses to President Arce his firm desire to respond with the promise of the Church's total availability to work together with the government of your country. I ask the Lord to help us to fulfill with generosity our duty to redress injustices and to be ever faithful to the task of protecting those who are the beloved of Jesus, the Pontiff concluded.